We have one more. Of these storage cubes, you get one deck and two foil packs. That is such... Um, that is so uh, mis... What's the word? Dece it's so deceiving. I can't even talk. No edits, guys. No fucks given. All right. So I noticed this was already shooken the hell up. I did not do this. You could already see inside here. I'm surprised no one bought it. So maybe, I mean, I still haven't looked the deck value up. I can clearly see what's inside there. I can, probably not from your view. There's another pack in here somewhere. I'm not going to shake it up anymore than it's already been. But I did notice the very top card was damaged. Let's get right down to this shit. How the hell is everyone doing? Did anyone go out and buy some of these? Because, man, they stock these back on shelves, guys. I mean, I, I did the first wave of cubes. I, I think I found, like, ten... Uh, and made videos all about those. If you guys like these Walmart cubes, I got a whole series of Walmart cubes and all the shit I opened in them. It's pretty cool, actually. I would, if, if you're bored and ain't got shit to do right now, go check it out. Um, I'll try to include it in the end, uh, in the end screen here. Uh, or at the end screen, I always include sometimes, usually relative videos, you know. Um, let's open these packs first. What do you say? <laughs> Sounds fun, Joey Moss, you crazy son of a bitch. All right, here we got Fate Reforged. See, look, really quick. You can already see, this is the back. I couldn't even see the back. But you can see a Nick right here. You can see another Nick over here. That might be a little bit of the foil, but you could still, or the uh, packaging, but you could still see a little Nick there. There's a Nick up here. I mean, that's already damaged. It's probably Force, or uh, not Force, but it's probably a land of some sort. Fate Reforged. I don't recommend buying this set. It's fucking god awful. Let's see what we get. Uh, Battlefront Krushok. Morang River Prowler. Mystiff Adept. Monastery Siege. What's that bad boy do? No. Excuse me, that's burped. Oh, I think I might have threw up my mouth a little bit. Oh, God. It's favorite forage. So bad. Uh, as Monastery Siege enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons, at the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card, then discard a card. Dragon spells your opponent's cast that target you or a permanent you control cost two or more to cast. Yeah, it's not terrible, I guess. And a Thornwood Falls. Ain't that something? Why would they put that back there? Why is... Why is that back there? Shouldn't that, isn't that reserved for foils? Why do I have a Thornwood Falls back there? The shit happened there. <sighs> Answers, please, guys. I got questions. Answer them. Thank you. We got good old big freaking Zendikar. What are we going to get? Battle for Zendikar. Plated Crusher. Groove Crumbler. Dampening Pulse, Cinderglade. Cinderglade is a battlefield tap and lets you control two or more basic lands. Not terrible. Full Art Swampy, hails to the year. All right, so again, nothing, nothing too special there. Now on to this. We have the Yidris Maelstrom Wielder. This is so cool. I've never opened this one. I don't know its value. I was t uh, chatting with. Uh, uh, a fan of the show on Facebook the other day, and he said this is one of the ones he pulled. So kudos to you, sir. That's awesome that you went out and were one of the early birds to grab these. It's pretty badass. Um, but also, I'll show you the damage on this. That's just, don't go out and shake all the freaking cubes, guys, because you're, you're damaging the product. Someone else is going to go and purchase. Like, don't be a dick. All right. Yidris Maelstrom. You want to know if there's something valuable in this shit? Put it on a damn scale. Feel it in your hand and weigh it. If it weighs, if you throw it on a scale and it weighs a pound plus, you know you got a commander deck, all right? Very simple, cut and dry shit. Don't go damaging all this stuff. Thank you. Uh, Yidris Maelstorm Wield, a legendary creature, ogre wizard. Trample whenever Yidris, I'm saying that so bad, Maelstrom... Uh, wielder deals combat damage to a player. As you cast spells from your hand this turn, they gain Cascade. Cascade's pretty nasty. Uh, when you cast a spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards in the bottom of your library in a random order. That's a pretty friggin' badass guy right there, let me tell you. So um, this is all from the 2016 uh, edition, which 2016 was not bad. Kedel, chosen of Krufix, legendary creature, human wizard. Add a colorless to your mana pool for each card you've drawn this turn. It's got that partner ability. Get some more commanders out in your hand. Uh, Thracios, Thryos, Triton hero. Aren't you just a cute merfolk? Yes, you are. 
For four, scry one, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, draw a card. Pretty dope. Damn, cheap casting cost for that, too. Oh, look at this guy. Vile Smasher the Fierce. I like that lightning, though. You guys picking that up? Holy shit, that looks cool. That is straight dope. Digging it. Legendary Creature Goblin Berserker. Are oh, you Berserker? All right, whenever you cast your first spell... Each turn, Vile Smasher the Fierce deals damage equal to that spell's converted mana cost to an opponent chosen at random. Nice! And then we got some tokens up in here. Got the old gobbles. The old gobbledy quacks over there with their worm and more gobs. And then we got some moves. Setter Wayfinder, Wall of Blossoms, Calling Oracle, Spellheart Chimera, Gamekeeper, Blue Wolf, A4 is a Chimera, Soul Ring! Gotta love it. Felwar Stone, Rakdos Signet, Simic Signet, Commander Sphere, Whisperous Cloak, Frenzied Fuge, Fuge, Chain of Vapor, Rakdos Charm, Ancient Excavation, Bituminous Blast, something like that, Windfall, Parting Thoughts, that's a cool looking card, look at that artwork, digging it, Far Renderings, Grave Upheaval, Treasure Cruise, Treacherous Terrain, an island, another island. It's weird to put him right there. Goblin Spy Master. Look at this guy. First strike at the beginning of each opponent's end step. That player creates a 1 1 red goblin creature token with creatures you control. Attack each combat of Fable. Oh, damn. Runehorn Hellkite. Love me some dragons. Flying for six. Exile Runehorn Hellkite from your graveyard. Each player discards his or her hand and draws seven cards. Hell yeah. Boom pile. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non-land permanents. Whoa. Pretty brutal. Curtain's call. Undaunted. This spell costs one less to cast for each opponent. Destroy two target creatures. Whoa. That's brutal. Is that legal in modern or anything? Cruel entertainment. That's, that's what I'm all about here. Choose target player and another target player. The first player... Controls the second player during the second player's next turn, and the second player controls the first player during the first player's next turn. Wowzers. Passed in flames. I want someone to say pissed. Pissed in flames. Each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. That's a mythic, everyone. Congratulations for the mythic. Flashback for five. Ghastly conscription. That'd be cool in a foil. Exile all creature cards from target player's graveyard in a face-down pile. Shuffle that pile, then manifest those cards. Army of the Damned. I got one of these. Create 13 tap 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Flashback for 10. Oh, shit. Academy Elite. I'm not going to go for every single card. I did use that in a deck before, though. Sangromancer, the old vampire. If you guys want to read any more of these cards, just go ahead and pause the video. I can't read everything. But this looks cool. I've never seen that. Whenever Glint Isle Nephilim deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. For one, discard a card. Uh, Glint Isle Nephilim gets plus one, plus one, a ton of turn. I'm saying Nephilim. It's weird. It's like Nephilim. Ion Chronicler. Chronic Chronicler. Sure. Ion Chronicler's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Suspend X. Or X3 colorless and a island. X can't be zero. Well, of course. Whenever a uh, time counter is removed from Ion Chronicler, it, when it's exiled, while it's exiled, draw a card. I want to hear you guys make a freaking video, all right? Because it is not easy to freaking keep talking about this much shit, all right? Avatar. I'm just saying. Uh, guilt Feeder. Fear. Whenever Guilt Feeder attacks and isn't blocked, if any player loses one life for each card in his or her graveyard. Consuming Aberration. I, I like this card, actually. Consuming Aberration's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyards. Whenever you cast a spell, each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land card, then puts the cards into his or her library. Graveyard. It said graveyard. That's way off. Nath of the, Gilef, of the Gilt Leaf. Legendary creature, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may have target opponent discard a card at random. Whenever an opponent discards a, cr a card, you may create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. Cool. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Return Ethereum Horn Sorcerer to its owner's hands. Got the cascade. Dragon Mage. Hells to the air. Yeah. Flying whenever Dragon Mage deals combat damage to a player. Each player discards his or her hand and draws seven cards. 
blood tyrant, flying and shrampo. It's a vampire. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player loses one life. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Tyrant for each one life lost this way. Whenever a player loses a game, put five plus one, plus one counters on Blood Tyrant. Sweet. Ah, oh, fuck yes. Didn't even know that was in here. Aw, oh, shitballs. Loving that. Chromatic Lantern. Lands you control. Have tap add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Tap it. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Awesome freaking card. Burg, 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 Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, add two swamps to your mana pool. Whenever an opponent discards a non-creature, non-land card, draw a card. Well, I see some value up in here. That's cool, at least. Chaos Warp. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then reveals the top card of his or her library. If it's a permanent card, he or she puts it out of the battlefield. Hell yeah. X... Ev... <laughs> Evacuation. I was going to say excavation. Way off, man. Way off. Return all creatures to their owner's hands. That's pretty dope. Wheel of Fate. Uh, instantly, Wheel of Fortune came into play. Not because of... Vi Vi what's her name? Viana White? Vanilla? Vanilla White? I'm, I'm so far off right now. I'm just going to stop. Uh, it's a sorcery. Suspend four. Uh, each player discards his or her hand, then draws seven cards. Decimate. I like that word. Destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. Wow. That's that's something right there. That is something. Whispering madness. Now I'm going to read it. Devastation Tide. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Is there a cyclonic rift in here? Because there really should be. Just saying. Uh, reforge the soul. Each player discards to her hand, then draw seven cards. Miracle Deuce. Worm Harvest. Create a 1-1 one, one black and green worm creature token for each land card in your graveyard with the retrace. Spell twine. That'd be a cool uh, cool foil, too. Sorry, a little off there. Exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard and target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards. Cast the copies, if able, without paying their mana cost. Exile spell twine. Whims of the fades. Ooh, I like the little ghostly apparitions. Looks like a little, this one looks like an alien. Mama. I don't know why an alien would say mama. I, I don't know. Uh, starting with you, each player separates all permanents he or she controls into three piles. Then each player chooses one of his or her piles at random and sacrifices those permanents. Volcanic Vision. Oh, check this out. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to the card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponents control. Exile. Volcanic Vision. Ain't that something? In Garuk's Wick. Destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. Exotic or Orchard. Shadow Blood Ridge. We got some more lands. Some more lands. Some more lands. And we got some uncommon lands in the back here. Ash Barons. Ash Barns. Y'all know about them ass barns, man. I've been hanging around Martha so long, man. She caught up a little Billy, and he gonna get a goat. And I said, you gonna get that goat pregnant? Billy didn't care. He went off with that goat. I don't know what I just said, but it happens. Command Tower. Crumbling Necropolis. Dismal Backwater. Evolving Wilds. Frontier. Blah, blah. I think I just threw up. Uh, Jungle Hollow, Opulent Palace. Rectos Cardinium. Relinquary Tower. That's like five bucks. Right Highlands, Rupture Spire, Savage Lands, Simic Growth Chamber, Swiftwater Cliffs, Terramorphic Expanse, and of course, Thorn Wood Falls would be in the back. Anyone see the weirdness that just took place here? Do you see the weirdness that has occurred here? What did I do with it? Where's the weirdness? Where's the weirdness? Yeah, if you watch from the beginning, you should know what I'm freaking talking about. Oh, where the hell is it? Where is it? It was somewhere. It was like around with this guy, I thought. Anyway, uh, the Thornwood was in the back of one of these piles. It is lost now. There it is. I'm like, why is that here? You guys remember that? I'm like, why Why is that back here? Well, it's still back there. It didn't go anywhere. Damn it. 
All right, well, there you have it. So that's pretty cool. Commander deck, man. Um, only paid 20 bucks for it. That's badass. I'm not sure the value on it, but I know between three cards alone, uh, the whole deck, uh, I, I got my money back from this, those three cards. So get your butts out to a Walmart if you haven't already. Uh, and shit, by this point, they got to be gone. <laughs> But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, these things fly off the shelves, especially when people like me are making videos about them. So thanks for watching. It means a lot. Hit that like button. It means a lot as well. And as always, guys, peace, love, and anal.